And what Campbell found looking at all the stories of all time was there's only really one schematic, which is the blueprint of our soul that's common from, from Mesopotamia to what became the Star Wars trilogy based on his work. It's the map of who we are. The leader is the person with a map. Good map, you're a good leader, let me give it to you, because it really is the one thing you need to know. On the way from A to B, said Campbell, we begin to think we're having some sort of adventure that's pretty understandable, but it never happens that way, because on the way from A to B, along comes the Herald. The Herald is the untoward, unexpected, uninvited experience that alters our life forever. Now, the Herald has changed. The Herald is the moment that those planes strike the World Trade Center. The Herald is the moment that in your childhood, your parents move again and once again don't tell you where they've gone. Okay? It could be anything, you know? It could be the fire on the subway or the traffic this morning, it doesn't matter, but it's when things don't happen as like you want them to happen. And guess what? Welcome to the world of adventure. On the way from A to B, this occurs, and look what occurs next. You begin to discover that life is not a straight trajectory, but any adventure, this is really important, begins with a downhill journey where all the old landmarks shift, where everything you thought you once knew to be for sure is suddenly very uncertain. But don't worry, you will hit bottom. And it's always dark as just before it goes totally black. And this is good. Because the Dalai Lama said it when he said it so well. He said, easy times are the enemy. They put us to sleep. Adversity is our friend. It wakes us up. Adversity is our friend. It wakes us up. Because in this point of lowestness, of darkestness, of worstestness, you begin to discover how you can leverage everything you thought you knew because it just doesn't work anymore. And so the great light, the great gifts becomes ascendant. And what they look like are this. The true alliances we form in times of uncertainty are the alliances that hold us together for life. We go to those people and we ask them for true and profound friendship. If it's given to us, we give it back. Our lives are altered. We find the faith that comes from experience and we gain the power because we now have the map and know how it works, which is the following. We reemerge to point B, no longer the same, and it becomes apparent to us that the only way to make this all make sense now is to complete the hero's journey by giving it the final step, the return home. And in coming round to the start, all that we've suffered, all that we've learned begins to make sense in the moment we contribute it to others. That's why being in an organization, in a family, in an industry is so important. It's our chance to make it all make sense and become the hero.